camera gear is mostly packed. So that'll be closed up here. Packed. This. Don't know what I'm putting in yet. So, filling up, grabbing the last few things, filling up this extra water bladder that's kind of crappy and I kind of had to like glue it together and stuff. I don't even know if it's going to hold. I don't know. We're going to see. But, I, okay. So, I don't know what happened the first time, but I have glued this now four times I think with like super glue and gorilla glue and as you can see it's all looking janky is hmm and there's still a smallest little dribble leak on the bottom there <sighs> which is not terrible yeah obviously if I take it out for a day of riding like it's that it's minimal it's not gonna but just like when, when do you cut your losses? When should I have gotten a new bladder? Last couple things in hand. Don't need anything else in my room that I can think of. Anyway, down to the truck. Like 60% chance of rain, like all day today. So, here and where I'm going. So now, we're in with the very minimal stuff. The bag with a few extra things, the camera bag, and then the extra random stuff. Now we gotta go right over there to my storage area and grab the camping gear, the stove, all that kind of stuff. Let's go get it. This. This is the little, the little new new. I'm sure, you people, everyone's seen. Yes. Who stove? Propane. Forgot to mention, I am uh, bringing all my shooting gear, and I'm actually gonna shoot. And like, first time in like a year. Since these ammo prices, just thought about it. I'm gonna have, oof, cutting it on space because I'm grabbing the mountain bike as well. Because even though it's been raining, I still might try mountain biking. I don't care. Yep. I thought I fixed this flat tire. Okay, I don't hear anything. Don't hear anything. Sounds fine, which is which is nothing. So maybe that temporarily worked. I don't know. Since I already have the uh, tire off, though, I'm just gonna take the other tire off and just fit it in here because I do kind of have a lot of gear today. So, charging station slash important thing slash camera when I'm not using it. Okay, shoes, and we're hitting the road to go get the guns. Sometimes it's very tiring to do all this stuff, man. I know it's gonna be fun and a good time, but just like one whole bag, another bag, 
Another bag. Another one. Another one. Alright, we've got subs and supers alternating. We're gonna see what it sounds like coming out of the Keltec. Sub should be first. Yeah. My goodness. That was a sub. That was nothing. I don't even know. It didn't even cycle. Nope. Yeah, I didn't even cycle. <laughs> Well, that's okay, because we can adjust that, but... Yeah. Oh, dude, that's sick. Yeah, a little hot out. It is. It is a little hot out. Uh, I just shot rifles over there. Over behind that berm. And then I'll show you the pistol range. Definitely have more ass to them than the regular ball rounds. Oh, yeah? Which ones are these? The JHP. Oh man. Done shooting, but uh, well, maybe not done shooting. I want to go check out the. They have tactical bays down over there. So I shot pistol, shot rifle, just to like make sure, it was, like on target and stuff. So I don't know. Been down here before, a few times. I don't know. With the ammo shortage, I just don't feel like I should probably be planking. And there's no targets. They used to have a couple of steel targets down here that you can shoot at and some other ones set up and now there's nothing down here um so yeah i think i'm gonna skip on this for now i'm gonna go set up a uh, campsite which there was no one down there this is it's empty super empty this weekend there's only been two other people shooting besides me and my buddy hammond da -da -da. Dun, 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 dun. oh yep a few rocks there yep nope yep that's fine Okay, and 1.2 point, 2.3 point, point, 7 point turn. Okay, that works. Let me catch you up a little bit. So, did some shooting. That was okay. Uh, came over here to camp, and there's a bunch of people at the main hut. And there are a bunch of people mountain biking. Looks like maybe they're camping under that thing. I have to get my mosquito thing out quick because I already gotten bit. But this one is like the best because it's flat. It's under this big tree, huge fire pit, and you're right here on the water. Stupid. All right, it's in the off position. It says, take out a pad, one pad, slip it. It says, insert under grill. So, under here, oh yeah, a little friction fit. Comes off, this cap comes off of a fuel cell. This goes in, move it to on, and start. So there's a flip that says on, 
That's a start. I don't know. We're gonna go with that and see what it does. Re looked at this thing. There are little threads on there, of course. So, what makes sense? Put it in. Give it a little thread. Now I can hear hear a little tss, tss, pressurization going on. Now, oh yeah. I just heard a flame. One hour later. All right, tip of the day for camping. Uh, don't let tent-like material with strings attached flap around in the wind. Uh, while you secure the other two points because the other ropes will entangle themselves so as you probably saw I was untangling some rope it's been like an hour yeah not fun anyway so now I can mostly have it done I came in because I know those two aren't tangled but I had to move the truck forward a little bit I am going to finish putting up that rain fly and adjusting it the wind has died down so I'm gonna put you back out and we are going to continue what hello there welcome to hammock time I'm tactic squatch and this is hammock time well thanks for hanging out for hammock time until next time Actually, quick gear review. This thing, I would love. I would, it would be great. Except, the weird pry bar end thing, right? So like, you can get your hand, like your idea is to hold it here. Cool, all right. But then you get this like weird kickback, swing back thing and it like can hit you in certain places or trying to use it. So then like I'm trying to grip it lower and then it just feels like uncomfortable and weird. But I get it, like, they left it there to be a pry thing. I don't know. Everything else is fine. Like, you can really choke up on this and get some uh, kindling if you need to. And the hammer is great. I've been using that. That's fantastic. And I like the length of this one better than the um, little hatchet one that I have. But yeah, I don't know. There you go. <laughs> Just attach, diddly do. There. It does that. Easy peasy. The steak, we want high heat, right? Yes, say it with me, people. You just want to sear that. So the cast iron we want up high, and then we want low. But I noticed that the other day when I first cooked on this thing, even if you have them both in the exact same setting, uh, the one further away, so our gas is over here. This one was always a little bit hotter. So be careful with that if you're trying to do this too. You know, oh, I think they're both in the same setting. Nah. Snagged this at Walmart. Does have this, which that actually is not too bad. Utility spork, three in one, eating utensil. How is it three in one? There's, that's a spoon and a fork. How is that three? Oh my gosh, are they considering this? Can you see this? Is that a knife? It's like little serrations. Are you kidding me? Come on, come on people. And then we snagged this of course for like five bucks. Saw this from uh, Mav on his channel. And I was like, yo, that's super cool. Curry, cayenne, garlic salt, black pepper, and salt and paprika. Didn't bring any cooking oil, so grease from this and the grease from the bacon so the grease from the bacon in the morning for the eggs perfectly fine cutting this in half so it fits in the meantime how's it going how you been i'm hot actually i'm really i was cooling off really nicely once the wind died down 
and I got this untangled. Everything's fine now. Everything's fine. It's all right. I haven't gotten bit since I cooked that thing back on. These things, Koglin, Kog, Goglins, Koglins, telescoping, telescoping, telescopating, telescoping, telescoping. Let me know. Anyway, most ideal. Maybe you already know these. Maybe you don't. Anyway, I mean, it's like a three feet long, perfect, and rotates right here. Rotates at the end. Super minimal and small and uh, so ideal for camping and cooking things over a fire. Got the mushrooms in. Uh, dump a little Dos Equis in. Cause I, there was nothing else really to help kind of saute them. Dos Equis infused mushrooms. Sure, steak is done fantastically. A little bit too done, cause I'm not, I didn't realize how hot. Yeah, okay, don't murder me people. Please don't be mad, I get it. That's too done, that's too done for me. For sure, obviously. There's like no pink at all. Okay, I get it. I'm gonna do better on these these two right here. I'm gonna do better on those. Just thought of this. I have pure maple syrup because I like that in my coffee in the mornings. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do some little caramelizing, whatever you want to call it. See what happens. Let's get, let's get frosty with it. Mouth is a sugar fanatic, sweet toothaholic, whatever you want to call it. Oh yeah, those uh, those smell real good, real nice. That's done. That's on there. All right, these ones are done. Much better. A lot more pink in there. Thick old slab of. New York stick. So, not gonna lie, this little like twelve dollar. Whoops, this little like twelve dollar little set is not too bad because these edges, like it's like an inch thick, it's perfect. Like it's containing some of the the juices in there. Oh, hello, Mr. Fly. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah, this, this has actually worked out pretty well. You can see the size of that. The bowl could be deeper, maybe. Um, but it would still work for like some pasta or something, which I will be doing. Because I love pasta. It is fantastic. The water is super still. All right, so, sun went down, finished up some dinner. And I went for a little walk around the pond, and not much. Um, I was kind of hoping for like a better sunset shot. All right, so I'm working on getting situated in here. This thing is working pretty well. You can see it like maybe steaming off of there. Maybe I don't know. Uh, but yeah, like has like a sweet smell to it. Sadly, it's actually used quite a bit of fuel since it's been actually been working. But I have it in here and I like nothing. When I walked away from it, yes. I got a couple uh, good bites, but I'm gonna leave it on a little bit. I actually have DEET. Anyway, let's some DEET. Go to sleep. I'll see you guys for breakfast.